YouTube, what is going on, beautiful guardians of the internet? It is Mesa Sean with Planet Destiny, and look at this scaled animal right here, the bad juju. Now this monster is available if you're willing to put forth the effort guardian in regards to a bounty. So we're going to get into the bounty as well as actual in-game uses for it with regards to PvE as well as PvP. Now to get that bounty you actually have to randomly get it from the bounty tracker. What I've found from most people including myself, the more bounties you turn in at one time the more chances you have of getting an exotic bounty. Now, if you're brave enough to go through these simple four steps, they will be no easy task, so gear up and get ready. The bounty is called Talon's Legacy, and uh, first step is complete a heroic or epic strike. It can be easily done with some friends. Then you need to complete 25 strikes of any difficulty. I recommend go do the Devil's Lair over and over and over. You could knock out, out a tenant that you could knock them out even in one day if you want. Now this next step, you're not going to need deep pockets full of coins, but you will need one coin for our friend Zerd, the Agent of Nine, who likes to show up in the tower once a week. And you will buy from him one darkness-infused weapon frame. And the final step in getting this monster is to head on over to the Crucible, where you will need to obtain 10,000 points from kills. Now, that's not 10,000 kills, that's simply 10,000 points. So you're going to just need to kill, kill, kill as many people as possible, and those points from your kills will go towards the 10,000. So let's get into the specs of this weapon, and keep in mind, when you do get an exotic gun, there is way more upgrades and modifiers to exotic weapons compared to legendaries and uncommon guns. So don't expect when you finally unlock this bad boy, you're going to jump into whether PvP or PvE and just destroy everything. You're going to have to grind it out to upgrade everything on this weapon. Now one of the first things you'll note about this gun is you can upgrade it to fully automatic. Next, you're going to have a skill tree of three choices. You could choose Soft Ballistics, where it's going to give you less recoil, but you're going to take a hit on impact. Then the Field Choke, where you're going to get more range and impact, but you're going to take an increase in recoil. Then the CQB Ballistics, greatly reduces the recoil, but you're going to take a hit on the range. Next modifier will be Hip Fire, where you will get bonus accuracy when firing from the hip. Then, in your next set of three you could choose from, you've got your skip rounds, which bounce and ricochet off of uh, hard surfaces, and uh, but they do slow the handling of the weapon down. Next, you've got your relic iron rounds, which uh, is really going to make your impact go up, but uh, you can carry fewer rounds in reserve. And lastly, you've got your field wire rounds, a charged field wire jacket you can increase your impact with. Now the next modifier is extremely important to grind for, the String of Curses where the weapon reloads instantly and increases damage for a short time after every kill. You will find when you start using this weapon right away, you run out of bullets really fast and you're going to have to reload many, many times. Now just to note, the String of Curses upgrade fills the magazine 215 at no cost of your reserve ammo after a kill. So if this happens before the weapon finishes firing its burst, it can leave you at about 13 to 14 bullets in your magazine. Now, the last modifiers are four. Yes, count them for damage modifiers, and you will need to grind those out, particularly for PvE. And you will be farming on Mars. Go to patrol and farm for those relic irons, because you will need plenty of relic irons and ascendant energy to upgrade those. Now, I wanted to go over those modifiers first because the gun really shines once you go through those modifiers, even if you make it halfway through up to the String of Curses, because when you get this gun fresh out of the box, it's got 260 attack, which you'll go over 300 attack once you upgrade with the damage modifiers, but right out of the box, it's a very high rate of fire weapon, but very low impact. That's a concern with PvP. Also, range, decent, not too bad. But it's a very, very stable gun, and it's got a very fast reload. Problem is the magazine is kind of small, 15 rounds. Now, a shout-out to Tony, Tony Knott from Finland, my partner in crime, co-founder of the Destiny PS4 Facebook community, along with myself, for helping me get these clips and letting me use his account to actually use this weapon so I can give you my subjective but trying to be objective opinion on various uses for this gun. Now, from a PvE perspective, I'm going to give you my opinion first, and I think that First off, the gun is a lot of fun, okay? That goes without saying. There are things you need to be concerned with, and that is the impact and the damage and the low amount of bullets you have in your clip. So you will be reloading a lot, but it is extremely accurate. The sights are just wonderful, even though you have that green glow of uh, whatever it is that's, that's just oozing from the front of the barrel. But uh, a lot of fun. Takes down enemies really quick. We had the string of curses open on this particular weapon, so a lot of fun to use in PvE. Now PvP, a little bit of a different story. 
With PvP, it is fun. However, you need to pick and choose your battles. Do not get into close quarters combat. Stay away from people. Remember, this is a low impact gun. It's a very accurate gun and has amazing sights for uh, picking people off, but you don't want to do what we just did here. Stay away from people. Let your teammates go ahead of you. Take people out from a distance. And to articulate the gun skill needed for this weapon in PvP, let's look at the damage. 16s are coming off the body, 24s will come off upper torso. Now if you excel in gun skill and are extremely accurate with landing, head and upper torso shots, this gun may be the gun for you. And that is it for me guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments section, what are your thoughts on this particular gun and the bounty? Are you guys going after it? For the ones that have it, what are your thoughts on this weapon? So be sure to smack that like button and smack that subscribe button if you haven't already. And once again, I am Mesa Sean for Planet Destiny and stay beautiful, Guardians.